Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome to Spewer. Now this is one of my favorite games to ever come out of Newgrounds. Now Newgrounds is a place, if you've never been to it before, it's a website that uh, featured a lot of great animators and game creators of the past who have since moved on to different things and it's kind of sad because Newgrounds isn't as big as it used to be, but it still hosted some of the most influential games that I've played in the past and this is easily one of my favorites. I was talking with uh, Aaron and Ross, Ego Raptor and Rubber Ninja, who started on Newgrounds. Newgrounds, just like a lot of people did, uh, who moved on to different avenues. But this game is fantastic. Like, if you've never played it before, and I highly recommend that you do, and I won't be able to get through the whole game uh, in this video alone, but I highly recommend that you play it for yourself. It's addicting, it's fantastic, it's cute, it's adorable, and it is involved. Look at how many levels are involved with just the main game. And also, you spew! You literally use your puke! as a method of movement in this game. Now, I didn't necessarily need to do that. It, it, this is the tutorial stages and it'll teach you uh, exactly how you're gonna be able to get through stuff. And you can swim through your own puke and bile and goop and it's going to be phenomenal and adorable and kind of disgusting, but that's kind of the charm of it. But maybe you don't like that, but either way, it's a great game and I'm gonna play through it as best I can. Oh, and by the way, you can eat up your puke again if you feel so inclined with the space bar. So, anyway, you jump, you puke, you jump and puke, you avoid the death, you got a scientist looking over your shoulder the whole time, and that's pretty much the most of the game. The puzzles get more and more complex as you go along, and I know this seems a lot like a game review and not so much as, you know, just me, but this is like, oops, I pressed R, which I accidentally reset the game, but, I mean, this is one of the games that I am really nostalgic about, and one of the cool things about being uh, around Aaron and Ross of the Game Grumps, uh, and all the other Game Grumps, is that I get to talk about these old passions of mine that I, I really, I, it's weird because I wasn't a creator at that point, I didn't make my own stuff, and in a lot of ways I wish I did. I was so focused on, like, school and whatnot. Now, I'm not saying that you guys should quit school at any time, but, I mean, if you got a passion for creating, like, this is a great example of what comes out of a community that, while at the same time heavily critiques creation, but also, you know, it, it allows for, uh, uh, these incredible things to come out of it that never really would have come out before because now you know indie game development has reached two different branches There's the indie game development that still makes uh, for the sake of creating and then there's the indie game development that makes for the sake of You know app development and, and making games on mobile and trying to make a lot of money Which admittedly they should because when game makers made games on Newgrounds, they didn't make any money out of it It was very hard to monetize it especially uh, since it was a community that emphasized free games and this game is is free. It's huge. It's extensive. It was made uh, just for the respect of the peers and the enjoyment of the players and possibly making some money out of it. Like Super Meat Boy went on to becoming a, a full-fledged game released on Steam, I believe. Which is fine. Totally fine. And I've got nothing wrong with people making money from their creations. But back then, most people didn't. Like, most people did not make money out of their games. And even though this one is adorable, fantastically made, physically based, and is probably more advanced and more well put together than a lot of games that you'll see today, it still didn't make a lot of money, or at least I don't think it did. So, anyway, back to the game at hand. I'm, I'm right now trying to push buttons and try to get through the game. I actually know this game very well, even though I died right then and there. And you might recognize the blood explosion from Super Meat Boy, because yes, I believe that's what it was from. Uh, but at the same time, it's just, like, uh, I, got, I got so many thoughts when I think about this. Like, the game is important because you need to recycle your puke whenever you can, uh, so that you don't run out at the wrong time. And this game actually has a pretty interesting story, like you might see some things in the background there where this scientist is running experiments on me, the little spewer that I am. Uh, but god, I, my, my, my train of thought is going in so many different directions that I keep forgetting exactly where I'm trying to be at the moment. Like, points like this, chapter one completed, actually shows some things in the background. And this scientist, who have weird devil horns for hairs, uh... You can actually read in the background. Now, I didn't actually read in the background before because I was just playing the game. Let's see, it says like, uh, ESC V2 treatment on Mindy inconclusive, funding needed for ESC V3, $4,000, pay rent. So this guy's hurting for money and he's trying to treat Mindy for something or other. You guys will find out more about that later. You can eat things other than your own vomit. Pills will make you throw up in new and possibly exciting ways. Fruit fills you up and tastes great. Well, that's fantastic. 
So now I got a new spewing power, which is actually like clouds. It is so cool. Like everything about this game was like awesome. It was just fantastic. The the ideas and the possibilities behind like some of the cool games that came out on Newgrounds were enormously phenomenal. Like God, I can't even imagine. I'm having a nostalgic gasm just at, from what has happened in the past in the games that I've I've had the privilege of being able to play. Now now I can't say that all of them were great. There were some pretty uh pretty terrible games sometimes but other like besides that there were actually some some of my favorite games of all time came out of the Newgrounds era i cannot speak highly enough about these games and even though i i would i would be sad to hear if some of them looked down upon like triple a games because some people's careers have been triple a and frick i need to put some there and i had some left i don't know why i didn't spew enough but i, I would be sad if they looked down on triple a or kind of shied away from that and i've said some bad things about triple a games just because i feel like it's not creative but that doesn't mean that the people making them aren't also creative because some of them like they came out of this and newgrounds <laughs> it was started by kids who just wanted to make cool things like Aaron and Ross, they tell me, because they're my age, they're my age, and, and they started making when I was just, God damn it, I, I remember this one was particularly hard because it introduced a new concept and it was rather unforgiving <laughs> right off the bat, so I need to be able to do this, hang on, let me, let me actually focus on beating this instead of talking about my past, which I guess is fine, I can talk about my past if I want to, it's my past, no, God damn it. Ah, God, this is not going well. I can do this, though. I think I need to eat less of what's here, and I think, actually, that was my mistake when I first did this. I can actually just kind of go. Maybe? Hit. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that was it. I was an idiot. I kept trying to eat things and recycle it forward and move it along. I wasn't supposed to do that at all. Fruit! Oh, goody, goody gumdrops. Fruit lets you puke. Puke lets you move where you need to go. <laughs> I just wanted- I, I wish that someone would remix this game so that there's actually like a BANG! Oh god! Like if- if Aaron actually put his voice into the screen, it could actually be really funny, but maybe not. Might remove some of the cuteness from it. Anyway, uh, what was I, I was saying before? I'm sorry that my- my- my thoughts are so scrabbled because, like, there's so much that I want to say and there's so much to be said about like, w these types of games and what could be brought about from it and how it reflects on how indie games are made today. Because there's new game developers coming out all the time, but when people started here, this is what I was talking about, is they were kids. Like, people who started out on Newgrounds were legitimately just children. I, I don't mean that in an insulting way, they were kids. They were young. They were young, but they weren't un they were uninhibited by anything else, and they were influenced by the other creators on the site, which allowed some of the coolest creations to come out of it, and some of the coolest creations to ever come out of gaming to be explored in this space. Like, just be, <laughs> you know, it was like an adventure of, of what could be done in gaming, and, and also animation as well. Like, Newgrounds was also a big animation thing, and I'm not saying it was perfect. I don't mean to, like... <laughs> Some people are gonna take this the wrong way and think that I, I think that this was better than any other moment in uh, the history of gaming. But no, that that's not true, but not to be misconstrued, it's half true. It's half true and half not true. Some of my personal favorite games came out of Newgrounds. I am rambling completely and I, well, I am probably not making any sense at all. But this is cool here because this is actually where uh, things start to get interesting because it, it always, it always introduced new concepts, new concepts that weren't a part of many other games, but were easy to understand. Like, this is where it introduces the concept of acid being bad, but also that your puke can interact and mix with it in different ways, and it can show that that's something in this game, and something that's a basic function of this game. Now, it's like, it, it's very elegant in what it is, and it's very cool in the game design that it has, and it shows that they're, like, the basic principles of game designs were relevant even in an atmosphere where gaming was still kind of exploring new ground. In mainstream, like, Nintendo and uh, Microsoft and whatever have you, game developers were making AAA titles that explored new ventures in what could be done in terms of processing power, but gameplay itself was also this new and not quite perfected area where like concept like this were explored in adventures and I died god damn it I need to pay attention to actually what I'm doing but like 
Just, just concepts could be explored in new ways. Like, who would have thought that someone could make a game where you're, you're a little, you're a little ball and you're trying to puke? Like, that's literally all I'm trying to do here. That's all I'm ever going to be doing in this game. And, it, and it's awesome because it can be explored in many different ways. And I'm saying the same things over and over again. I get very wordy when I play something that I, I, I thoroughly enjoy and I think is, like, important. And not to say that other games that I played haven't been important there. They each have their purpose and they each have things that are good for them and great to do. But this game in particular is just... I, it's delightful to me! God, I cannot get up there. Am I, I, I forget if I'm supposed to swim through here. Nope, can't go through there, so that's not it. I forget exactly what I'm supposed to do. I know I'm supposed to spew this over here so that I can get to it up there. I'm pretty sure I was supposed to be able to puke my way up there, but I'm not 100% on that one. Maybe I just need some more here in the base so that I can I can have something to jump out of. Up! Damn it! Hang on, I can get this. I can get this. Or I can, this will be the end of my let's play because I can't get any further. Help! Oh, come on! I was right there! God damn it! I can do this! I can do it! Just give me, uh, give me, give me some time. Give me some time. Eat here, but also push over here. Leap! Yes! There we go. Okay, that's what I was supposed to do. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Get in my mouth. Get in my mouth, please. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna stop nostalgic-gasming, and I'm actually gonna focus on the game here, because, uh, like, as much as I would love to talk for hours and hours and hours about my favorite <laughs> Newgrounds games of the past and how gaming has developed over time, I, I need to focus on the task at hand here. Oh, crap. I forget. What am I supposed to do here? I think I'm supposed to just jump over these things. No! Okay. So there was a, there's also like, oh God, what the hell happened there? Physics got a little wonky. Remember this was all still made in Flash. So, I mean, technically there still are things that are a little wonky in terms of physics, but the fact that this could be done period is still amazing. No, 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 there we go. Thank you. Okay. Like it's still, he's got such a happy little face. It's just so cute and adorable, and I, I don't want to say anything bad about it because there's really nothing bad to be said. And I'm not going to play the whole way through this game. It's a very long game, or it's not a very long game, but it's longer than I'm going to be playing on this episode here. I'm going to get fairly far, but what I, what I really want is for you guys to go out and play it yourself. Like, this is a game that should be experienced. Like, if there was ever a game that I recommended that you play, and you actually- What? Where did that come from? Why did that drop down on me? What a piece of poop! This game's crap, don't play it! Now, if there was ever a game that I actually recommended to you and I actually played, it would be this one, because it's just pure and simple delightful. And this piece of acid is over here for some damn reason. Ah! Oh, I thought I was dead. Yeah, they like to twitch and jiggle and move around a little bit, and I don't much care for it, but I'm still making my way through. Like, when I first played this game, it blew my mind. Just like a lot of games from uh, Newgrounds at the time, it just, God, it's just, oh, it's just, okay, I'm, I'm, to I'll be the first to admit that I'm totally biased. I am completely and utterly biased about these games, and I have a bias because it's my nostalgia talking most of the time, and it's like part of my history, even though this one only came out in 09, and admittedly that was still six years ago today, but like still, it's just like, ah, it's just, oh my God, it's just, I wish nothing but success on the creators of these cool games. I just, oh, I just, I just geek out about it so much, and I'm sorry if I do, but I love it. I love it so much. And like, I bet Ross is in the other room and hearing me right now, and he's like, "What the fuck is, fuck is Mark going on about over there? What's he screaming about?" But I'm like, "It's just so cool." So cool to see! I was actually hunting down games like this and I came across Spewer and I just... I remembered, like, I... I just remembered everything that came out of it, so... HA! Spew! God damn it, I keep clicking outside of the box and I don't mean to. Hang on! Actually kind of finicky. This game actually does get exceptionally... God damn it! Just do it right, you dingus, damn it! Yeah. You're making me look bad in front of the whole internet. I kept talking about how great this game was, now let's talk about how great I am at it. Help! There we go, there we go, there we go, okay. Thank you! Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give I don't know if I got enough- Oh no, I don't know if I got enough. Oh, please tell me that's enough. It's enough, right? Help! Yep! There we go, okay. So is that the end of chapter two? No, I got one more thing here. Alright. Sub- 
Uh, 1204, brain damage caused by P13 revisions needed. Mindy shows minimal response to sub 1203, 1205, showing signs of retardation. Call Jeff for funding. Retardation, not in the term of like mental retardation. Retardation, by definition, means to be held back. Anyway, that's a whole nother story. But either way, that's where I'm going to leave this because I want you guys to experience this game for yourself. If you have not played it or if you have played it before, tell other people in the description how fun this game is. This is a delight game this is a fantastic game you should play it it's phenomenal links in the description below and if you're an old new grounds or yourself let me know I would love to hear from you I would love to hear your favorite games uh, from this era and I know that Newgrounds it's not as popular as it used to be but it's still a hub for creators to at least see the creations of the past it's a great website and it had a great purpose back in the day. Like, I loved everything that came out. Like, Bitey of Brackenwood is one of my favorite animations, Gamma. It's how I first heard about Ego Raptor, and it's why I'm able to fangirl at him, and Ross as well. And it's where I'm able to, like, meet and know these cool creators because I, I, I might be in the same YouTube space as them now, but, like, the only reason that we're, we're, we're friends now is because I'm able to say, oh my god, I love your animations, you're a huge inspiration to me, and they are. So, I just want to say thank you guys for giving me this opportunity to meet these cool people. Check out this game, and check out other great games that people recommend in the description below, or in the comments below, rather. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye! Oh my goodness, oh no, don't push him this way. Oh god, oh this is bad, 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 oh my god, oh my god, no, no, I can't lose it! I want to turn again! Suit of armor looks extra shiny. It needs to have two glowing dots with the eyes. Okay, I'm out. Ah, talk for me! No, Tim Tim, run away! <laughs>